Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to another challenge video. This will be the Uwe Seiden Hunt Challenge. This is going to be taking place in Berlin, uh, specifically the Berlin Egg Hunt. And we're going to be doing it on level 3 because it just makes it more easier for us. So, yeah, I suppose you can do it from any level really, as long as you have a target. Uh, this is to unlock the blue Easter egg and I'm going to show you what to do. And I'm going to show you exactly why it's a very powerful item to get and I advise you getting it as soon as you can. So I'll be showcasing at the end and I'll be showing you why it's powerful. But at the very start of this Berlin egg, egg hunt here, this is for level 3, we need to pick up the blue eggs and what we need to do for this challenge is basically just knock out one of the targets with these blue eggs. So in case you didn't guess already, this is what the blue egg does. It just knocks them out. It pacifies anyone that's in that cloud of mist. It's a, it's a now it's actually a legal action to actually throw it or drop it, so you won't get in trouble if you do it. And um, that's that's one of the reasons why why it's powerful. The second reason is because you can take out groups of people because the cloud is uh, the cloud radius is quite large, and uh, it's it's relatively easy to take the people out. You could just drop it at their feet if you wanted to. But we're staying crouched as we circle around the area over here. There's another blue egg over here in this area. If you want to grab that. You only need one, it's fine. I'm going to jump over this little fence. And we're going to approach our target. It's going to be at the juice bar. Well, not the juice bar, but this uh, this particular bar over here. I can't, I can't remember what this one is called. Anyway, I'm just going to drop it at his feet right there. Blue gas, admitted. He's going to get knocked out. And there we go. So, who are signing? Hunt completed. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm not sure if I am. Anyway... That's unlocked the blue Easter egg. This egg, this simply says, this egg emits a cloud of tranquilizing gas, which is literally the perfect description for it. Anyway, this is what it does. So you take out your egg. This is just, this is not our target. It's just a random NPC in the Brooklyn Creek. This is where I do all my, all my demonstrations. But you can't just throw it at the head because it will just knock them over, but it won't knock them out. Only the gas cloud itself knocks them out. So you just have to be sure that you can actually throw it next to them rather than locking onto their head. So you just need to be careful in that aspect. But what we just did there, we just knocked out that NPC. We're going to wait for that runner. There's usually a jogger that, that's jogging around this map. We're going to wait for her to discover the body. And you'll see why it's a, a good tool to have. So it's pretty much like an alternative to a tranquilizer, or like a calmer. Uh, except for you, it takes up one of your slots and you've only got one, one attempt at doing it. You know what I mean? So there you go, body found. And as you, say, as you can see, the Silent Assassin tracker at the bottom left corner of your screen. It's still green, which indicates you still have Silent Assassin. Usually when bodies are found, uh, when they're knocked out, you lose Silent Assassin. So that's why it's a good tool to have for regular NPCs. Now I've restarted this now, but now he is now a target. So he's he's a target. So this a little bit it works a little bit differently when you knock out uh, uh, targets with tranquilizing uh, tools. And the reason for that is well, I'm not sure, I'm not completely sure what the reason is for it, but that's, that's how it's usually always worked. Um, so if you use a tranquilizer on a target, or or anything like that, any any tranquilizing tools that is, and the body is found, you will actually lose the silent assassin. Now it doesn't make sense in the grand scheme of it because regular NPCs it works works that way where you you don't lose silent assassin, but with targets you do. But there is a way around that. But I'm going to sh just just going to sh demonstrate the fact that you will lose silent assassin once his body is found. Even on the previous clip, he uh, the, we just we still retain silent assassin. But the only difference is he is a target now rather than an, uh, just a regular NPC. So as you can see, bottom left corner, the guns turn red, indicating you have lost silent assassin. Even though we did exactly the same thing. Okay. Okay, just... So what we're going to do is restart this contract, and I'm going to show you why it's a, a really, really powerful tool to have. And I assume that uh, speedrunner is going to be using this as well. You can also use. It's very easy to do, easy to do as well. Now this this contract requires me to take out the target with a pistol in my suit. So what I'm going to do is take out the blue egg. Throw it by his feet again to knock him out. Huh? And while he's staggering in his animation, we're going to shoot him in the head. Ballistic kill, headshot, target eliminated, objective completed, done. And uh, that's it, really. Um, so what you'd normally do is hide the body. If you just shot a, you know, a, a, a target in the head and you're expecting the body to be found, you'd, you'd hide the body, wouldn't you? But in this instance, uh, what has actually happened is... 
it's making the game seem like it's an accident kill, and I don't know why, but this is this has been in the game since uh, I would say 2019. Uh, somebody figured it out uh, one day. Uh, I can't remember who it was or something like that. I think I read it on the forums or something like that. But in 2019, if you use a tranquilizer and while they're staggering in the animation before they get knocked out, if you take them out in any way, uh, their body can be found, as you can see right now. And they, the NPCs react as if it was an accident kill. And they never ever fixed it. And they brought out a tool that can now abuse this system. And um, I don't know. We thought, The first thing you could use, you could use that, um, that little snail that you unlock in one of the seven deadly sins missions. I forget what it's called now. But as you can see, I just, I can, I'll show you right after here. I'll show you the last silent assassin. So just to show there's no shenanigans going on. See, there you go, silent assassin done. That's why it's that's why it's powerful. I mean, you can do this in any way you want. You don't have to do headshots, which is which is what I'll just de I'll demonstrate right now. Because I brought along a little rubber ducky with me as well. So I'll restart this. Bring along the the purple duck that I recently unlocked. Do you know this is the seventh? Remote explosive rubber dock that we have now. Seven. We have seven of them. The rest of them are proximities or concussions. But anyway, this is why I'm going to show you that it's another, again, another powerful reason to have this egg. What? Drop it at its feet. I'm also going to drop the, uh, the dock as well. A couple of seconds later, we're going to explode it while he's in the animation. There you go. Explosion kill. Target eliminated. There's no accident kill going on there. So it's going to alert a lot of people, that is. And you can do this from anywhere as well. Because the, the duck is legal, and so is the egg. Another reason why it's very, very powerful to use this. Again, body's going to get found. And the Sonic Assassin tracker is going to stay green. So, if you, take out your, if you just take out your target with just the egg, and the body is found, you're going to lose Sonic Assassin. But if you do this method and actually, actually kill them, then you still get your Sonic Assassin rating and you've got your target taken out. So, yeah, that's how you do it. And uh, that's why I think the, the Blue Egg is a very, very powerful tool to have in your arsenal. So uh, it's very, very easy to unlock it. So I'd recommend getting it unlocked now. But uh, more than likely, they'll probably nerf it down the line. I made the egg illegal to hold or illegal to drop or throw. Something like that, because uh, the developers usually like to spoil everyone's fun. But there we go. That's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if you liked it. And uh, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for the details. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in a little bit. Thank you very much. Cheers.